Allendale, Barrie, Canada says, meet me here, bring no one, come alone, E. Yo, 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 who are you? Welcome back guys, this is exciting new uh, Random Nautica Adventure. I am here with my boy. It's me. Freaking Brayden, as usual, and we're back doing stuff. I actually haven't done an episode with you for a little bit. It's been a little while. We've been a little busy. There's been a lot of crazy, crazy life stuff happening. Okay. Some stuff I'm actually not even allowed to say, like on Instagram and stuff, but I, I, I would have wanted to share it. But anyways, guys, we're using the intent of, what is it? You got a friend? Yeah, you got a friend. You got a friend. And it, it's funny because it's it, more positive than creepy today. Yeah, yeah. It's more positive. Um, It actually wasn't an intent, but it's something that somebody was saying in one of the messages because we were looking for intents. We were actually scrolling through videos. On the last couple videos, you guys haven't really left any intents. Many of them that we've already used. But anyways, guys, um, we're going to get headed out. We got that intent in the app right now. Um, we're going to get started. Get Let's this go. party started. Woo! Yeah, this is actually a pretty wild forest. Um, we've never actually been here. No. This place is totally new to us. Um, yeah, it looks kind of neat, though. There's like some little inlet. You obviously can't go in there. It's all blocked off and fenced off and stuff. But uh, yeah, me and Betty, we've been trying during the day, obviously, and nothing happened. We did find some creepy stuff, but that's with me and Brayden too. It's like, we wanna, we really wanna start playing this safe. I mean, stuff, really weird stuff happens at night. So like, creepy if there was something in there. yeah, it would be creepy in there. Well, and especially since it's all like fenced off and everything, like look at this thing, right? <gasps> I know, <laughs> it's a little wild, eh? But yeah, these woods are pretty freaking big, man. It's crazy. I like it because I love nature. That's oh, a big thing. That. And with Random Nautica, you get you do see a lot of nature doing these things and going to random places. But yeah, it's so random. Like there's odd times where we find abandoned buildings and things like that. A lot of it's nature. Like we end up places like this. However, we've had it where me and Brayden use it and then Randonautica gives us a coordinate in the middle of the lake. Like you remember this? We get like a coordinate and it's in the lake yeah. and it's like, how the hell are we gonna get out to this? Like we need a boat. We neither one of us own a boat. Yeah, or like uh, it's way down a river. Yep. And the bush around the river is just so. Uh, it brings us to theirs or something. And we're like, okay, like... Yeah, the warehouse of Zare. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. I had it bring me to, like, um, what was it? It was a cosmetics, I guess, like, an outlet, but it was, like, a big, uh... It was almost like a factory building. You know what I'm talking about? It's in Barrie. I know exactly what They got women's, about. like, makeup. I'm like, and you know what? It's funny. I couldn't film, obviously, but I went inside of it. I'm like, what is in here? And it was, like, literally, like, nail polish makeup. There were a few men's things. Like yeah. cologne and stuff like that, but yeah. <laughs> These little yellow flowers. Yeah. OP. What are they? Nah, I have no idea yet. <laughs> One thing though, I have to say because I I wanted to be a mushroom forager because they're like medicinal. I don't know if you guys have heard this, but there's so much going on with medicinal medicinal mushrooms. They're ap adaptogenic. So they like protect you and they kill free radicals. Chaga is actually Canadian. So if anybody's heard of the Chaga mushroom, that's straight up from Canada. And that one, they're saying like that one can actually prevent cancer and things like that. 
I've been taking Rishi. I literally thought that Rishi was king. And it actually isn't. It's not the it's not the king mushroom. I went back to this uh what was he? What's a a mushroom professional? They're called a there's a name for them. I can't remember the name, but anyways, um anyway, there's people that yeah, there's people that professionalize with like mushrooms and like medicine like that. So, um, anyways, this guy, he was like, no, it's chaga. And he explained to me how it works and stuff like that. But also like when people have like these diseases, they will do combinations, combinations of different types of mushrooms. And it seems to be like really kicking off. But yeah, anyways, we're going to take on the trail and because our point is actually down this way. So we're going to take on the trail and just see what we can get, guys. It might be a bit of a walk, so we're just going to take a little cut right here. All right, guys, so we've been walking for a little ways. Um, me and Braden just noticed this. Uh, there's this huge teepee down here. It actually looks pretty sick, eh? Yeah, so our point is actually off over this way, so we're just kind of following the trail until we have to dip off trail to actually see something, so. Right. Yeah, like, I really hope we find, like, something more peaceful this time. We do find a lot of ominous stuff. Obviously, that's part of the, uh, part of the whole experience is that you come across, like, really creepy things. But, yeah, like, this looks, this looks insane. Oh, wow. So we found this huge teepee. It looks like whoever's got it, they're still building it, eh? Yeah. Yo, dude. Look at the tree here. What is it? Look at the boards across. Oh, wow. Dude, I was just gonna point this out to you. Did you see this? What? Bro, that looks like burnt clothing. Dude, that's actually like burnt clothing, like as if somebody was like set on fire or something. Like, that's been here for a little while. That's weird, dude. I know, bro. That's really, really ominous. So, yeah, we just saw that. Brayden said that he was noticing, like, somebody, like, putting boards up in these trees. And you can't even hunt in these forests. Like, you can't. You know what I mean? Like, this is an actual trail. Which is wild. Would you see something? No, I just... You know. Me just checking. Me. Yeah, might as well clean off the trail. What the fudge? Like, how the hell did they get up there? That's a thing. There's nothing else, eh? It's just those couple boards. Could've used a belt or anything to like, hoist himself up. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, we'll go check this out. This is honestly one of the most intense forests I've seen. Like, this thing is pretty big, bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we've been coming across these trails with really like windy, windy paths and things like that. So it's been like a common occurrence lately. But you can notice like there's definitely like woodpeckers and stuff here. Cause like, look at this tree. It's absolutely mangled. I mean, of course it's dying out, but you know. Well, that's kind of cool. Somebody built like a little bridge on the side there. Okay. So the point says that it's up here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go up this way. Frig, the, the amount of walking I put uh, Brayden and my other friends through, it's just crazy with this app. We actually walk, walk a lot. <laughs> You'll walk for a few, you'll walk for hours and going through battery after battery, not seeing. Yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the point says that it's like right here. Okay, you check that out. I'm gonna go check out that camera over there. You see what? Look at that. No, dude, you're joking me. Like you see like you a camera? Lie. Yeah, and there's an envelope right here. All right, bro. Um, Yeah, I think you should check, check that out just to watch over that area. I just want to make sure that is what you said it is. That's messed up. We saw like these security cameras in the last footage. Now that blinking light, that's a camera. 
No, that is dude, but look where it is. It's like, oh my God. I don't want to walk into that, but like, what the hell is that? Freak, man. Do you think you know how to disable that thing? Um, Fudge. I just have anxiety right now because like somebody, somebody could be out there watching us. Well, what's very, like, if my hands are shaking. Like, the, the reason why I'm freaking out is because, like, this is a public trail. Why the hell is there a freaking camera here? Like, another camera. And it's active, too. It's live. Okay, I'm gonna go see what this is. Yeah, just be careful, dude. I don't like this stuff. Okay. You got a friend in me. This is E. Let's just stop them on it. Okay, let's bring this out into flat land. Open it up and see what this is. Just need somewhere to prop the camera up, maybe. That's so murk, dude. I can't believe we found that. If you know how to disconnect the wire, definitely do it. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna take a peek at this. What the fudge is this thing? Okay, so I'm gonna have to prop the camera up some way so that you guys can see what's going on. The handy tripod there. Oh man, these tripods are a lifesaver. Um, a lot of this stuff actually uh, Angelo got me into so that I'd, you know, I'd be equipped for the job. Okay, okay I got like a ripped up pages of some sort. I don't know what this is, guys. I found what looks like a ripped up, like ripped up page. Like ripped up pieces. Okay, what is this here? There's some sort of words on it. Oh, okay. I don't know what this is, guys. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, there's words on the back of whatever this drawing was at one point. Is that it? No, because that's a different M. Okay, we'll see what we got here. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's pieces. It says... So let's see if we can put this together. Our profit. That's eerie. Through her. I don't know what that is. Okay, let me see here, guys. I'm just trying to go through all these pieces and seeing what fits what fits. I'm really bad at puzzles, so I really hope I can figure this out for you guys. Oh, hold on. Okay, through her mind. Look, it says Toby on it. That's so messed up. Okay. What is this here? Oh, hold up. I think that's part of that. Okay. That's so weird. I can't believe we found this. Like, it's all messed up. What is that? S? No, that doesn't go there. Dude, I feel like ripped up stuff, man. Like ripped up stuff. Okay. Through her mind. She speaks. Okay, through her mind. She speaks to me. What is this part? That looks like... Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's literally mangled. Like it's in pieces. Speaks to me with her wisdom. Is that a she? Okay, hold on. I think that's what goes there. Okay. Yeah, so she... Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. We're on the right track right now. Okay, so through her mind, she speaks to me. With her wisdom, she comforts me. With her strength, she protects me. So we have one line down so far, guys. Hopefully we don't get any gust of wind that throws this off so that we can actually see what this says. Okay. 
Okay, I think that I think that goes there. All right. Okay, what's this? Yeah, it looks like something. Bro, I suck at puzzles, which is funny, but I'm I'm kind of getting this. Like I'm kind of figuring it out. Okay, I've got that part. Sacrifice. What is this? No, that's just not there. That doesn't go there. Okay, hold on. So Braden's just uh, disabling the camera so that we're not followed, guys. We don't want any bullshit. Sorry, you're disabled. It's all good, dude? Sacrifice. You caught the wire? Shoes? Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, what does this say here? From. Okay, here we go. We've got pages going here. I don't know if that goes there. Okay, here we go. I think I'm starting to get this, guys. Wish I had tape to fix it. Okay. So that goes there. Fudge. This is actually hard, man. Like, I'm actually getting put to work here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see what it says, guys. So there's a full thing here. So it says, Our prophet, through her mind she speaks to me. With her wisdom she comforts me. With her strength she protects me. And then it says, From her sacrifice we of the fallen persevered. Look up to the stars, may she guide you home. Toby. I know, dude. That's that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, we keep coming across this weird, creepy, creepy stuff. And we keep coming across several names, Toby being one. Toby's like an antagonist. You know what I mean? If this was Batman, this would be the Joker, yeah. in a sense, really. But we haven't, uh, I haven't come across anything else. Like, but so, okay, so this is what happened. The envelope, at the bottom, it said E. And then it said, um, where did I have it? Right here. Dude, it says stop them. It says stop them on it. It says E and then it says stop them. So this could be a warning from Ellis. That's wild. This could be a warning from Ellis yeah. to, to go after these guys. Because maybe she can't or maybe she, you know, maybe she didn't make it alive. Yeah. That's the creepy thing. But anyways, guys, um, I don't know. Like, I just, I really feel like we're being followed. So me and Braden are, me and Braden are gonna get out of here and we're gonna set another intent, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, so Braden thought it was a good idea to leave the camera um, rolling, just in case we were to find anything else by accident or anything like anybody. that. Yeah, or run into anyone, because obviously we should, we should document everything. Have it on film in case we have to, you know, if you have to give it to the police or something bad happened. So, these are really cool boardwalks they have all built, eh? It's all built with wood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, bro. No. What's up? Something. What, do you see something, dude? Like where? I don't see anything. Teepee? Oh yo, I do see something. What the fudge? What the hell's going on, Brady? I don't think that was there when we came here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, just keep keep an eye out. I know it's daylight. Yeah, exactly. I still think this is well. There's more teepees up that way. Yeah, it is near the burnt people clothing. This is so weird. I know, bro. I'm getting bad vibes. I always get anxiety when I do find something. We'll play it in the teepee. We'll take cover. We'll take cover in the teepee. How about that? This thing's pretty big. I'd rather be in some fort rather than get stabbed in the back, that's for sure. 
Yeah, if you want to watch my back, that'd be cool. Yeah. I'll play it out. Yeah. We'll see what this is. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yo. What's up? What Did you find something else? What is it? A symbol? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get caught here. Britton said that he found some symbol where the... Yeah, it does look like some cult thing, eh? Who the hell are these people, Britton? I don't know. Oh my god, that's trip, dude. Okay, well, we'll check this out. Actually, if you want, did you want to hold the camera? Maybe just hold the camera like that. I'll open this thingy up. You can drop that that other one down if you want. You already disabled it, so. Yeah, I'll just place it in my pocket for good luck. Okay, so I found. Oh, well, maybe I won't. Another Bible. Which funny, so Braden, we found a Bible the last time we were um, in Niagara Falls. Okay. I'll check this after because I'll probably have to hold the camera close to it because it's hard to see. So we'll look at that together. But we just found this. It says Answers and Revelations, and there's little stickers on it. And then there's just a question mark. Okay. So we don't know what this thing is. I don't know, man. Now we're finding envelopes full of stuff. Like, this is weird, bro. I didn't even see this coming in, either. Okay, what we here? I'm just hoping that it's just Ellis trying to show us things. Do you know what I mean? But that camera, like, why was that camera there? That's like, what if, I'm saying. I mean, if Ellis is a good person, then why the f why would you have a Unless camera? Unless someone knew Ellis was dropping that there? Yeah, unless she was being spied on the whole time. Unless if she is real, yeah. right? Okay, what's this? Okay, so it says, he is one. See that? Oh my God. And then on the back, there's that. I don't know what that is. That's so Like, weird. is it somebody, like it looks like somebody with some like nasty burns or something like that this photograph there yeah so we found that um let's see if this is oh fudge dude there's another tape there's another tape i know there's nothing written on this one it's funny because there's one i don't know if there was multiple tapes but we did find a tape that had uh it had writing on it. It said like happy birthday on it, which is really, really creepy. Yeah. So I'll just set these down. Hopefully that doesn't blow away on us, but I'm going to get the uh, player out. I'm pretty sure I have it in my pack. I have forgotten it before because obviously things happen, but since we've been stumbling across tapes lately, I just figured, you know what? Like I might as well have it on my person just in case we do come across these things. So anybody that hasn't watched my content before, we've been finding these tapes um randonautica to do with missing persons and what's funny is we looked it up online and this is old tech like this is stuff from like i think they go back to the 60s bro like the six like 1969 like way way mm -hmm. back when this whole roswell thing even started they okay. had these tapes for like conducting you conducting interviews with like you know like fbi or whoever with like suspects and things like that but anyways um we found this player it was laying on the beach with next to like what appeared to be cremation, ashes, and clothing. And that's how I came across all this stuff. And these are actually really expensive online. Like they're like almost a thousand dollars, which yeah. is crazy because nobody uses them anymore, right? Okay. But anyways, we're gonna play this tape. I just wanna make sure I'm locked in so I don't fall out here. Hopefully the volume's up full. We just found this, so. Starseeds, the angels who govern the stars, free. They led before my face the elders, the rulers of the stellar orders. And they showed me the two hundred angels who govern the stars and the heavenly combinations. And they fly with their wings, and do the rounds of all the planets. That's... I think that's it. Oh, wait. What the fuck is that? Dude, that sounds weird. What? What was that? Purely terrifying? I don't know. That was really, really creepy, bro. 
So whoever this is, it sounds like they can't speak. Like, doesn't that sound like somebody, like, without vocal cords or some shit? Like, that's that's kind of scary. I don't know. It almost sounds like the vocal cords are twisted. Yeah, something. that's creepy. Do you think the camera would have picked that up? I had it right up to the mic. I hope that we got that on film. That That is crazy. I can't believe we keep coming across this stuff, dude. That's insane. So we did find, um, we found this Bible. I'm going to take a peek at that. And this says, answers, in, so we just found these two guys, just so you know. So it says, answers and revelations. He is one little recap, and then all, we obviously found this uh, per picture of like what appears to be like some guy, and he looks like he's some sort of injury on his stomach or something. But anyways, we just found this. We found this Bible with the gold, and we actually found one of these in Niagara Falls as well, which oh, is really really no. creepy. Uh, Betty and me. So yeah, I'm just getting eared out by this stuff. Yeah. We found one by a statue. And it was white. Like, it was, like, pure white, and it had gold lettering. Okay, so this one has... Okay, so this one does have that uh, bookmark in it. Yeah, I guess I could have you uh, hold the cami. You might be able to do it. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you can drop that, bro. Yeah, you can just put that down. Okay, here we go. So we'll have a peek at this thing. Okay, so it says that it's... Okay, so this says, guys, Book of Revelation. And it says, And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Well, I guess that spoke. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the pops with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as flame of as of a flame of fire. And then it says, And his feet like unto fine brass, if they burned in a furnace. I think I, that, I was just assuming that a uh, furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters and he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword and his countenance, countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid at his... F okay, sorry. And he laid his right hand upon me. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. So it sounds like, I guess, like an angel or like a fallen angel or somebody that's like gone down to earth, right? Or something weird. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Okay, and then see this just says to keep going. Okay. That's kind of weird though, bro. Whoa. Alright. So it obviously wants us to read more. What's this say? Keep going. Uh, okay. And then it says, And there appeared a great wonder in the heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, 
a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. That's messed up, dude. That's wild. That is so messed up right now. I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Let me see. Yeah, so that was it. But that is really, really, really creepy. That's terrifying. A dragon. Is, is that like... Is that like the devil or something? I don't know. A dragon, like seven heads and like... It sounds like a hydra. That sounds creepy, man. Like that sounds some creepy stuff. But the, you notice that it mentioned like stars falling to earth and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like what if these are the star seeds? You know what I mean? Oh. Which is like the things that we're coming across, which were people yeah. that were born, but they were born from, you know, their father was basically a demon. Like these fallen angels that came to earth, the minions, and then they, they started sleeping with the women on earth. Because okay. you got to think, generations of kids born, even their parents and their parents and their parents, wouldn't they have like these special attributes you know what i mean like tele telepathic you know what i mean speaking in different tongues and things like that languages uh yeah i don't know like they could have like better strength than us i don't know i mean it's just an assumption right yeah well. yeah but anyways me and brayden are a little freaked out we found some weird stuff in here we were being like obviously we're being spied on because we found a camera yeah. so we're gonna get going um yeah, like, I think we're going to set a new point and just try a different forest. I'm not happy in this forest right now. I don't feel comfortable. So I'm going to get going. All right, guys. Yo, did you hear that? Yeah, they're screaming. Yeah. I just missed catching that on film, but as me and Braden were leaving, we just heard, like, a guy screaming. Okay, let's go, dude. Sounded like somebody was being butchered, dude. Yeah, I dropped some. I dropped the Bible. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Did, dude, did you hear that sound? It sounded like somebody was being butchered. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't like. I don't like this forest. Well, and dude, like this is during the day. This stuff is happening during the day. It's not even nighttime. I heard that there was a, like sounded like a guy was screaming like he was being butchered. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Fuck, oh, dude. I'm glad I caught that bit on film. I thought I heard it again, but I didn't. Or maybe I did. I don't know. So we just heard what sounded like somebody being butchered, like literally not far off from where we were. All that, although again, it could have came from street level. We're not, we're not a hundred percent sure because of where we are. Yeah, it's so, man, it's so messed up, dude. Just making our way out of here right now. Yeah, man. Swampy and shit. All right, so we'll go across here. So we're probably stepping stone across here. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm just watching your back in case I see anybody because that screaming kind of it really freaked me out, dude. Oh, no wonder. The camera's on zoom still. What we're gonna do though, guys, um, just in case, uh, just in case no one heard the tape, we're going to make sure that we play that back in the car for you. So we'll do a recap in the car, and then we'll set our new coordinate. But it's funny because we only set one, and it said you got a friend, 
And isn't it funny that we found stuff that could possibly be clues from Ellis, eh? Like, oh, yeah. you got a friend, Ellis. Yeah. So yeah. if Ellis is, if she is anything on our side, then she's probably trying to help us, bro. She's probably trying to warn us, like, this person is dangerous. Stay away from him. You know, I, we don't know if he did anything to her. All we know is that they were all missing people and they were part of a little MUFON club, like, here in Canada. And all we really know for a fact right now is that they have security. Yeah, and then the fact that they have security cameras, like we literally found, we found one of these before, okay? And they're like the cheap, like hundred dollar models, like you just, like you, you basically can, you can disconnect them very easy, but okay. nevertheless, somebody had them, yeah. and they're setting them up. Okay, that's just dogs. That's, a dog. <laughs> that's just dogs. But anyways, guys, we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna do this recap in the car for you, and then we'll see you back. All right, guys, so we're back in the car now. We're just going to do a recap of that tape because sometimes, obviously, the audio is not the best out in nature. So we got this. I'll get Brayden to hit play. Play is in the middle. It's just yeah. the middle button there for you. Ready? Yeah, let's do it, dude. Starseed, the angels who govern the stars. Free, thanks to Stop her there. That is so messed up. Like, what the hell is that, dude? I don't like that last part there. No, I don't like it either. Piece. But it's it's as if they're using that AI because they can't speak. Mm -hmm. Do you know what do you know what I'm getting at? Like it just seems to me like I just have this strong feeling that whoever whoever this is in this in these new tapes, like they don't it's like they don't have a voice. They have no It's almost like mutated. It really does, bro. It really does. It sounds messed up. Sounds freaking mutated. It's really, really creep. And that's really. I know. Awesome with it. But anyways, guys, uh, we're gonna find a new uh, place. We're gonna find a new and set a new intent. Um, hopefully, we find something a little bit more peaceful. Uh, that really creeped me <laughs> out. The screaming in the forest creeped me out. It sounded like somebody was being hurt or something like that. And that just, that just really didn't fly with me. But anyways, we're going to set a new intent and go from there, guys. Welcome back, guys. So we decided to run a new intent. So this is one of your fan intents. We've got at Heather Don't Care. Oh, there. 6534. I hope I said that right. Um, her intent was nightmares, predictions. I like this one. We like this one. Predictions and consequences. Stalkers. Um, we're going to use coincidence. Premonitions and biblical because we have been finding um, uh, Bible stuff. Hold up, I think she's got a little bit more because we're gonna throw all, all this together. Yeah, she, she says she has an entire list, but these are always her top faves. So I'm gonna try to use somebody because I, I know you guys don't want to see the same intents used by well, not same intents, but same people constantly. I want to I want to be able to use all your intent. So like if I can go through this list and get as many as you subs as possible so that you guys can be part of the video, that's great. But anyways, we're going to run this intent and just see what me and Braden can get. All right, guys? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, my boy. All righty, guys. So we have that intent rolling coming up this way. Looks like I saw like another TP there. But we're our point is actually out this way, so we're going to just turn around that side and we'll go from there, my G. Yeah. This place is wild though. Yeah, so it led us to this uh forest here. It's kind of like it is it does sound close to the road, I can say that. Hopefully we find some did uh deep woodsy areas though we can hang out in. I love these boardwalks. I don't like, I don't know what it is, man. Like bridges and stuff, they're just they're cool to me. 
It is neat that we keep finding these like teepees though. These man-built, man-built like teepees everywhere, eh? Oh, yeah. It's really wild. All right, so this is the It is freaking cool. Yeah, the stuff that me and Brayden have found today is just seriously wild. We've been filming all day. Uh, there were a few duds in the beginning, which really sucked. So we had to keep resetting it. I had to buy some extra tokens. That's the crappy part. Once you run out of the uh, <laughs> uh, the free owl tokens, and like it only lets you do so much, right? So yeah, we had to get some new ones. Yeah. Yeah, this trail I've actually never, I've never seen this trail before. This one's a little bit different too. And there's condominiums everywhere in the city. But what's funny is they're doing like Bigfoot stuff here. Dude, is that like a swamp or a bog? That looks like a swamp. Yeah. Oh man, it reminds me of that uh, Goosebumps book. What is it? A Werewolf of Fever Swamp? Oh. That's like my favorite one too. But this looks like a bog, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't think you'd want to step foot in that. Hold up, I have to take a peek. I've actually never seen a bog. That looks creepy. Yeah, like look at this guys. Yeah, I won't. Cause isn't it like sinking sand? Yeah, that's wild, bro. Check this out. What did you find? Oh, it's not what I found. What's yeah? gonna do in this bog? Oh, you're gonna see it? Yeah, check it out. Like, send, throw it in. Yeah, that's Ooh, creepy, bro. Oh. Yeah, look like, I mean, it just looks like mud, but you know, you step on it and you could be into like some sinking sand. Did it go in? No, no it's actually sitting on top. This, is, this was a river though. It was? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's wild. Yeah, you're right though. I don't want to test it. No, I don't want to test That's it. That's a big thing too. I don't want to test it. <laughs> Careful around these bushes, eh? They got thorns. Okay. Uh, especially if, like, the middle's not as... Stable, yeah. So that place. used to be a river, eh? It looks like it, because look at the... Yeah. Look at the mud. And hence, like, why we have all these bridges and things like that laying around, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Just wild, bro. Yeah, this would be a good place for, like, dog walking and things like that. That's why I like that we're out today, though, is during the day, is that I feel a lot safer doing Rananautica um, during the day with friends. And me and Betty have been doing that, too. Like, it seems more actively dangerous at the nighttime, because that's where all the weirdos are out. So that was a big thing. I don't want to don't wanna put us in danger and things like that. So. Yeah, so. so the point is actually just up that way. Just a little bit past the building there. So we'll see there. Really, really cool spot though. But yeah, it is. Uh, this trail is actually close to town, so that's not too bad. Oh, sweet! There's like another bridge down there too. Yeah, this one goes across the water, which is why I'm excited. Yeah, like it's just wild. So like this is all the water that's left. I'm wondering if it's from like. I don't know, like global warming or something? Why all that? A bunch of shit around this. Yeah. And they had to like stop the water somehow. Yeah, it had to be something. Yeah, so here's the water here. I guess this is where it started, guys. And then where we were, and then you go down that way and that's the bog. We just definitely, we don't want to go near that. It's like, bogs are, so like for those who don't know, <laughs> bogs, it's almost like sinking sand. So it's, it's like what Braden said, like the water's evaporated and then it's like mud, but it's like since there's enough water there to make all that mud moist and like it creates these, I don't know, like it's almost like, it's almost like it's still water. <laughs> but the thing is, it's mud and it's very, very deep mud. And if you step on it, I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. What is that movie, Fantasia or some shit? Remember the horse, it goes into the bog and then, yeah, he loses the horse because it just gets sucked into the water. I, man, I cried during that movie. I can't remember what it, uh, I can't remember the exact name of it. I think it's called Fantasia. I don't know. I, I I'd have to look that up. I might not have seen it. I remember the scene you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. I don't know the name of that movie. Yeah, so the point says it's here, but I'm not really seeing anything, dude. It's right around 
here. You have arrived. Fudge. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, what we could do is we could split up. I mean, if you want, I could take the bridge side, and then maybe you go down here. You thinking that would work? See if we can find anything. Cause I mean, I don't really see anything. You just take a peek here. No, I'm not really seeing anything laying around. I know. I know. I mean, like, I mean, it is hit or hit or miss. I mean, like, there could be nothing, right? So. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything visual. Look at these big trees. Really big creepy trees. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I have another camera. So, let's show you guys. I got a secondary camera I brought just in case uh, this sort of thing happens. So I got a little camera here. Maybe I'll vlog uh, the other side. Give Braden my camera. And then he can check it out from there. So yeah, Braden's right. got this cami going on. And that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll split up. Uh, I'll, I'll probably hightail it down that way. Actually, no, this way, because we came from over here. Yeah, we so came. So I'll check out that side. Because I think we're going to get into deep bush here. And then you can check out this way. And if you find anything, then, you know, you just let me know. Okay. All right, brother? So if I find anything, I'll circle back. Yeah, yeah. If you find anything, you can, you know, call me on my cell, whatever. Okay. All right, bro? All right, guys. Be here. Braden, or however you know me. We're just gonna go exploring. Brad's already off on his own way. And we're gonna see what we can find. I'm not too sure what's out here, honestly. Nice pile of wood. If anyone wants free firewood. That'd be pretty dope. Nice free pile of wood. It's soaked, but you can take it. Anybody can take it. Yo, 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 who are you? Who the f are you? Are you the guy that's been stalking us? <laughs> Get out of here, gotta get out of here. Out and around. Oh, I laid one on him, didn't I? <laughs> gotta find Brad. Oh, so down around the corner. Oh. I think I got him pretty good. I gotta find Brad though. Freaky man. That was not good. A little weirder face to face. Very strange. But sometimes it takes a punch in the gut to get away. Holy, my adrenaline is up. Okay, where are we? Where's Brad?
Oh. See if we can see Brad. Oh, my heart is racing. Do you see Brad? If you see Brad, leave it in the comments. If you see that weird stalker thing, just shout it out. I got him. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna call Brad. Oh, maybe I won't. Okay. I guess we keep walking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. Where is this guy? Walked away is up here. I haven't seen anything, guys. I'm seriously starting to suggest that uh, this point was a dud. I'm just not seeing anything. I've checked both sides. Like, that's the thing, guys. <sighs> I've checked both sides. I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything either, so. This is insane. Yeah. Free. He's not old enough for this insanity. stuff, man. Just been walking for for a long time. I don't know where Brad is. Sorry, I keep him to stop. I don't necessarily. I, have to, I can't leave without him. I have He's my bag right of here. lights in case it gets dark. Huh, so not that I would want to. Bad. Yeah, so no, that thing crawling around in here. Yeah, this is where I've been before. I've been up here. It's that place I've been. It really looks like I'm just going back to the road. I might have to turn around and go find Braden at one point, so. Yo, Brad! Where is this guy? All right. Might as well keep going. If we keep going, maybe he's already at the exit. Maybe he heard what's going on. He's already at the exit. That would be so nice right now. Oh, there he is. Brad. Brad. We got a problem. Um, well, I was down there, and then I saw one of the cannibals. Like, you, you saw somebody? I saw somebody. Well, what happened? Well, he got all up in my face, so I punched him in the stomach, and I left. Holy I fuck, dipped dude, out of there pretty quick. Get the hell out of here. I think we took the Okay, hold on. I left him back there a little while ago, yo. I left him back there a little while ago. He's not close to you. He's not close to me. Oh my god, dude, he scared me. But like, yeah. What do you mean by like cannibal dude? I don't know. Like, you he, think he was trying to eat you? Seemed like it. Mm. Getting her way too close for comfort. Okay, that's for bro. sure. Do you think you lost him though? I tried. I think did I he did. attack you? Like, well, did he hurt you, dude? He got really close, and I don't know. It all happened so fast, dude. Like, yeah? it, I just punched him and I left. Oh, you hit him? Yeah. Well, fuck, props, dude, because these people scare me. Like, every time we come across people stalking or around and stuff, 
Oh, yeah. watch, dude. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Who's the camera?
Welcome back guys, so yeah, that was really disturbing. Um, we saw somebody on our security cameras last night leave this. So I don't, I don't really know what it is, it's not, obviously there's no labels on it or anything like that, but we're gonna open it up and find out what it is. Um, I did show the footage to Brayden and I said like, was that the guy? And then Brayden told me that it looked a lot like the individual that was, was trying to attack him and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, we're just gonna see what this is, guys. Okay, so... Looks like some sort of postcard again. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on this. What's really, really funny, too, is I kind of recognize this. It actually looks like it's... familiar. So this says GTR Depot Allendale Barry Canada and then on the one end it's there's like some sort of stamp right here Toronto Canada sorry my camera's been having like really bad issues focusing I don't know what's going on and then it says August 6 5 p.m. this is 1907 so this is really, really weird. But I noticed this. I'm pretty sure that that's the, I'm near the waterfront area right here in town. So, and then on the back, there's some sort of note or something with like, looks like dye or some mm, ooze of some sort. All right, so we'll check this out. Yeah, you'll notice that some of the Rananautica finds that I've kept are actually chilling here. It's almost like becoming a museum from things that I keep finding. Okay. Some sort of note in here, that's for sure. But we're gonna find out, uh, we'll see what this postco postal card says. It almost looks like a historic thing. What's really weird is some of the, a lot of these things that I keep finding, they don't really have anything to do with anything. The po like the, you know, like the, the artifact type, type things that we keep finding. So that's actually hidden, but there's a berry stamp there. And it looks like there was a stamp that was actually ripped right off. This is Canada and the United States, depending on who um, mailed this. But I think this was mailed to Canada. This is having a swell time, A M B. This part says Mr. H. I can't read that word. I don't know if you guys might be able to. And then, I don't know if that's percent or something. Or maybe and. Christy Brown. And T-O. And then at the bottom it says Duke Street, Toronto. So this is definitely really old. Like that's, that's pretty well 100 years old. So like over 100 years old. But yeah, I think I, I think I can actually look where that is. That's kind of neat. But anyways, this is the, these, these are the disturbing things that we keep finding are like notes and things like that. Oh, what is this? So this says, meet me here, bring no one, come alone, E. Yeah, that's actually disturbing. That's really, really weird. So what's really, really creepy about this too is that I don't know if that was a female or whatever. So it's like, who is E? Are E and Ellis the same person? Are they different people? Like maybe somebody else's name is with an E? But um, yeah, like I'm starting to wonder if E is a totally different person than Ellis because we keep finding things and then some things say E, and then some things say Ellis, so it's really, really hard to, um, hard to determine who is who. 
or if this E person is like somebody completely different than what we have been coming across. But a lot of the stuff just stems from like missing people and things like that. But yeah, this note's pretty haggard as well. Obviously, it's it doesn't look like it's a hundred years old or anything like that. But this, it you know, it's kind of beat up, and there's some sort of dye or something on it. And that's the thing with me. Like I. I don't know if I believe in aliens or not. I do. I I'm skeptic. Like I, I say like, well, I kind of need proof. I need facts or anything to the, to really legitimately back that up. Um, the person that Braden came across that was attacking him that was disturbing, nevertheless. So that was disturbing. That was really really weird that that had happened. Um, but yeah, other than that, like, I can't say like, oh, I believe in them or anything like that. I just know that I'm interested in them. I am interested in conspiracies. It's really cool that these things come together and then we're like, okay, like, is this legit or is this not legit? But anyways, guys, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go check out this area. Hopefully it's, I know it's during the day, so I should be very safe. I'm gonna go check it out and see what I can get. I know it's a little bit rainy out, so like hopefully, um, hopefully you guys can see everything clearly. I'm just gonna bring some, like a lid for this thing. It's just to kind of minimize the rain so that if we do find anything, maybe, you know, maybe we can collect more evidence of what's going on. But anyways, guys, check you in a little bit. Bye. What's up guys? So we're at the place now. Um, it's just down the ways, uh, this, this walkway right here. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna wait and see if anybody shows up. That's the only thing. <clears throat> That's the only thing I can think of what to do. So I actually have to cross the street to get to it. However, you can't uh, if I do find something there, there's signs that say like I can't have a camera there or something like that and get in trouble. So if I do find something, what I can do is I can probably just zoom in from the path or something and then go pick it up. There's always birds here. Check out these little guys. They're pretty. See these? The Canadian geese. So we got these guys every everywhere. Really pretty birds. They're really big too. We're gonna leave him alone though. He's just chilling, having a nap. Or he was trying to, and then I woke him up. Oh, that's them now singing. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, so um, unfortunately this thing is actually totally inaccessible. There's fence line all the way around it and it has been closed for, uh, God, years apparently from looking on Google. I've actually driven past it many times. I didn't really think anything of this place. I think it used to be an old train station, something like that. And then I guess before that, it might've been this depot that they're suggesting in the postcard. But yeah, that's where they want to meet. Yeah, look at them. There's a whole flock of them here. They really like hanging out here. Apologies for the rain, guys. So you make it a few camera drips and stuff like that, but we do our best. I put a cap on my uh, lens there so that hopefully some of, hopefully no no drips got on it, but can't make any promises. Yeah, so it's pretty wild. This building still looks the same, guys. However, they're doing a lot of constructions and renovations to it, so things might have changed. Oh yeah, it's way up ahead. Okay, just trying to make sure I remember where I am here. Let me have a bit of a walk. I kind of, I, like, that's the biggest thing with me is, like, I want this person, whoever they are, to come forward. Like, who is this? Like, who's been messing with us? Who's showing up on my property? Like, that was very, very disturbing that we are being spied on. 
continuously with this app and it's just like we have no answers we don't know what's going on uh yeah like i it's i really don't think it's a movie anymore so i mean i've looked up on google there's been no no films that have that kind of content like in this area or areas that i've been shooting in like that have found like objects and stuff like that so we don't really know what it is anymore i mean me and Braden have had long talks where we think that in some ways it can be a hoax but that there's somebody there's something they're covering up something so there could be truths that we just don't we don't know because they're hiding it so there could be pieces of information that are are real and then there could be many 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 false ones and that was a big discussion between me Chris and Braden because we just, you know what I mean? There's just things that just don't add up. People have even said like uh, some of the missing posters or well, no, actually somebody came out with the missing posters. Oh, they wouldn't have done this. They wouldn't have done that. And it's like, okay, so like we're on to something. You know what I mean? Like there's incorrect facts stated. So the biggest thing now is like, okay, what is the truth? You know, we keep finding uh, little bits and pieces of the puzzle, but we really, really don't know. So this person, whoever they are, they want me to wait. They didn't even give me a time. That's the thing. So I could be standing out here for God knows how long and then nobody even comes, right? So yeah, I just, I don't know. Oh well, yeah, that's kind of cool. There's some art right there. But yeah, I'll show you guys. This is the wild thing right here. So that structure, Back there, that one right there, that's it. Get a little pan of that. Yeah, so guys, um, I really don't know what's going to happen or what to expect out of this, but I guess I'm going to cross the street. I can't have my camera in front of that. There's laws, like I can get charged. They don't want you... They don't want you on that side with devices and things like that. So I can't do that there. Obviously I can show you it from here. I'm at the park, so that's all right. And not only that, to mention it's, it's an abandoned building. So it's not like it's public and there's people in there that don't want to be filmed or whatever. But anyways, guys, I guess I'm gonna wait and I'll check you back in a little while. Like, I don't know how long or if anybody's gonna show up at all. So, all right guys. All right, guys, so it's been about three hours. I've been waiting here a long, long time. Nobody's come. I haven't seen anything, and it is broad daylight. They didn't give me a time. I'm definitely not coming down here at nighttime. Like, you guys have seen stuff that we've already seen. So, uh, yeah, like, I think I'm just going to head back to the car. Maybe whoever this is, if they recognize me, if they know who I am, you know, they obviously seem to be so interested in my life that they would come to my address and leave a package. So, I mean, if they see me, hopefully they'll spot me on the way. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. So, yeah, but I've been here a while. Obviously, I'm not going to throw that in the footage, like, two, three hours. Like, I went through SD card after SD card. So, like, yeah, like, just, just, just chilling on this. Like, obviously, I'm chilling on this side. I can't be over over there. But whoever, whoever's looking for me would have spotted me. I mean, I'm right in front of it. So there's no, there's no excuse of, you know, like I'm here, come and, you know, come and get me, come see me or whoever. But yeah, we don't know. We don't know if E is somebody else. We're having suspicions now that E could possibly be a completely different person than Ellis because just the stories just don't line up. We've been getting handwritten notes, different things, doing Randonautica, so... But anyways, uh, yeah, like we'll head back. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. I, I don't want you guys to miss anything. So if we do see something, then yeah. I really hope that somebody shows up, man. Like I really, it, it's been so long. We haven't really found anybody from MUFON. We've just found things, you know? We've literally just found stuff, so a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. Some stuff, you know, some stuff seem very much real. I mean, just little, little bits and pieces and stuff that these people were 
part of a group and things like that. Whether that, I mean, whether like this what this is a film. There's nothing. There's nothing really listed yet. Oh wow, the water's getting crystal clear. Yeah, you can really see like it's just looking pretty. City buildings over there. I love uh, I love going for walks and hikes and things like that. These guys they tend to eat the grass. They love. I really hope they don't spray the grass here. But these guys they love eating the grass. They'll come here, they'll hang out, and literally they'll just muck. They'll just be chilling here and eating grass. We got a bunch of them. I think that's the Canadian goose. I know we have or. Oh, yeah, it's doing territorial thing. It's like, it's like, don't come near me. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother him. He's chilling. They can attack. They actually do have teeth, too, by the way. But, yeah, we're going to leave him alone. He knows that he's like, he's like, stop bugging me. Leave me alone. But, uh, yeah, guys, I, I really like hiking. I really like walking. This park is cool. It's right by the water, too. It's beautiful. There actually is a beach. If you look down that way, there's actually a big beach down there. I've never swam in it because a lot of people say, oh, the water here isn't great and whatever for swimming. But uh, yeah, we do have a beach here and stuff like that. But coming here for walks is really, really cool. Just so neat that I found a freaking, uh, yeah, a postcard with that on it from uh, 1907. That's old, man. That's freaking old. So that building's actually been here for over a hundred years. Very interesting. Yeah, they have all these. Yeah, they have like these benches where people have, you know, grew up and died here and passed away and then a bench is like dedicated to them. So we have a bunch of those. We have these really cool spider trees down here. But yeah, like, I just wish that whoever this was would show up and say, like, and be like, okay, like, what's going on? Like, are you just freaking with us? Like, messing with us and causing animosity for no reason? Making up stories? But that was a big thing, too, is that wondering, like, okay, are these people, you know, just making things up to get us, you know, to get us freaked out? And then when we come try to jump us that was another thing that uh, Christopher suggested because like obviously Christopher he doesn't believe I don't think he believes in aliens he's very very skeptic of it I like I said I want to believe in things but like I don't like uh, and obviously I'm Christian so it's like that whole thing being like aliens is kind of like kind of out of that ballpark right it's kind of like yeah like you want to believe I mean we have other planets and things like that but like until there's any evidence or actual proof, right? It's just totally, it's kind of out of the wall. Yeah, we got a little stream there. cars here so I don't want to bother anybody yo what the hell what's this no freaking way okay all right guys I'm gonna check this out in the car here this one has stickers on it, just like the one in the forest. That is so messed up. Alright guys, so we're back in the car now. I just found this, another envelope. Coming back to the car, which is really weird, because I've been waiting for somebody to show up. So that's just really, really, really weird. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. 
I don't know what it is. I honestly thought that, uh, I honestly thought that somebody was coming here to, to see me. Okay, well, let's see what we got here, guys. Just hold on a sec. Okay, so, I just found, it looks like some sort of ring, like a, I'm pretty sure that's a man's ring. Like, look at the thickness. So I just found a man's ring. And I found this, guys. And it says, you can steal me if you wish. It almost looks like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. The guy and a girl. This also looks old. They kept it in the plastic so that it wouldn't get damaged, too. That's really wild. But what is this? Holy smokes. Yo, this is actually stamped too. Okay, what does this say? Okay, I don't know if you guys probably can't see this, but there's really small lettering on the on the stamp on the uh, upper left portion. That says two that says 2020. So that stamp is from 2020. And this says, "My dearest Charlie, I love you and want to marry you. You are the only person in this life I would allow to steal my heart. I'm here now in our special place. Please consider moving here to Canada. It's so peaceful here. Don't worry, we can still be part of MUFON together. Your angel, your dream girl, Ellis Baker, a.k.a. Starseed. Okay, like, that is just... That is just wild. Like, I still can't believe we keep finding these things. So, like, obviously, there was no meetup. So, I was set up. There's nobody... Nobody here to meet me. So... But, like, they obviously wanted me to find this. I don't know what to believe, man. Like... I don't know anymore. I really don't know anymore. I just keep getting like misled after misled after misled. And there's already so much stuff going on in my own personal life. So it's like, I don't know. I've just been exhausted with this whole thing. It's almost like I kind of want it to end. It's just like, it's just dragging out. Like whatever this is, we, we truly don't know. We truly don't know. We don't know if, you know, if this is the cult and this is their way to like lure new members in like you know make up a story have people believe it have people concerned that there's missing people and then we go and look for these said missing people and then all of a sudden you know they i don't know they snatch you and bring you make you part of this group or this cult known as starseed i really don't know i really don't know honestly luke re reading up online it didn't seem too crazy, crazy. I mean, I know you guys have heard of, like, Scientology and things like that. Starseed's very, very different than that. These people believe that they're hybrids, or in their some way, they are part alien. They actually believe that they're part alien because they have these, these gifts, like telepathy and you know, reading minds and, like, just different things. Maybe, like, superhuman strength. Maybe they're you know what I mean? Then maybe they have different complexions, different like characteristics about their, their personalities and things like that. So, but, uh, yeah, guys, I don't know what to think. I really don't know anymore. Like I said, like it's just getting tiring and tiresome to, to keep looking and keep, keep getting involved in this. And it's like, we're being misled. It, it just seems like, what's the point? Like, what's the whole point in this? But anyways, that's a really weird find that we found that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this next episode. It's really, really weird. I don't know what to believe. I really don't. But any anyways, uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye. Welcome back, guys. So um, I'm here with my boy, Christopher. So um, yeah, I, did, I showed uh, Chris uh, the take that we had. It's pretty wild because I didn't spot this guy. Uh, just major, major creepo, bro. Like, it was really, really weird. It almost seemed like a cannibal, like, type person, like, living in these woods. But we've had a lot of crazy stuff going on, especially with, like, crazy, like, violence, like, homeless and people, like, in Canada, which is really, really weird. It's a lot of weird phenomena going on. But anyway, 
we decided to go to the forest that we suspect being something to do with starseed. So we keep finding people here. This is a forest that we've been commonly going to. And we keep finding people here, man. We actually keep finding stuff. Um, and this is actually part of it, which is funny because we had thought, uh, me and Brayden, we set too intense. We were actually just at the other end of this forest. This forest is actually massive and buried. It's really, really, really big. But yeah, we're going to set up camp here. It's nighttime. It's about, so we got 9.34 p.m. We're here. Um, we're going to hide and just see if we can find it this crew like this whole starseed cult like that's been hiding out and has been stalking me what's really 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 creepy is that i found this package like at my door like literally somebody had left and it's really creepy we do um i did show this to brayden because he does think it's the same dude that he punched so he literally just gave this guy a good punch to the stomach that's the first time i remember you chased a guy down remember we were in that tunnel yeah, yeah you chased the guy down, but you never caught him, right? So, no, like, we don't know who these people are. All we know, so about this cult, they actually, they don't seem to be religious. They seem to be, because I've been doing some research, they're more so, they actually think that they are part alien. Like, they think that they're these hybrids that, like, you know, they, like, telepathic, all this stuff. They have special attributes. They actually believe that they are some form of alien, which is really, really, really weird. But, yeah, you guys keep coming up to me and saying, like, new things about this. Um, but, anyways, we're going to get our cameras. we got a night vision camera with us, and we're going to set up shop and just see if we can find anything. I know it's late, and hopefully we're not here all night because we don't want to be, like, here too, too, too long. But we want to see if we do find anything in these woods guys all right all right my g you ready to get started all right Always. we're ready to get going peace all right guys so me and chris have walked in the woods this place actually looks really eerie eh, bro <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so we did find this uh teepee um it's up actually up here it's very very big but these are the areas that we've been coming across um well, I mean, it was me, Chris, and, and Justin, and we came across this dude that, like, we seem to be like a murderer. But we think that, we really do think that these people have something to do with this whole Starseed cult. And they're all hiding out. They literally don't speak. They're very, very weird. They don't seem to have, like, you can't see faces. That's what's really, really creepy to me, is that when we've seen this dude, it's like he's really concealing himself. You hear something? You know what's weird too? So me and Brayden were in this woods and we're getting ready to leave and we just heard some dude shouting. It was really it was really ominous. It's just creepy. I thought I saw like a light. Nah. I know that I know that these trails are really close to like some of them are close to the street. This one's kind of in the midst, like you can see like there's stuff up there, but yeah. There's something up ahead. Really, really creepy looking for us. Yeah, so we found this teepee here. Which is just insane. This thing's big too, eh? Like, I don't even think this one was here the last time we were here. Like, look at the size of this thing. This way here. Holy smokes, they're actually using this tree to keep the support beam up. But it doesn't look like you could fit a lot of people in here. Like, unless they're very small, we don't really know. But anyways, man, like, I'm thinking, if you want, I'll have you set up on the other side of this entrance way with the night vision cams. Yeah. And we'll just be in pitch black, right? And then maybe I'll set up over here, probably in a position here. I'll take some cover up in these trees and then get this spot. And then like if any if anybody shows up, right? Like if any of these guys show up, then we get them. Like the biggest thing I want, man, because this guy's been spying on me. Like literally right after me and Braden, bro, right after me and Braden, some dude leaves a, a freaking note at my door. A freaking note, which is really creepy. And what's scarier than this, like, it's something to do with Ellis, and it's like, that was a dude. Like, that's no Ellis, man. It was no girl. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that, man. We'll just set up shop and then just see what we can get. All right, guys, so we might be hanging out here for a little while. And I know I'm going to have to make a lot of cuts, so I'm, I'm just going to say goodbye for now. And whatever we get, we get, okay? All right, man, so, yeah, I guess I'll have you posted up here. And then I'll post up on the other side. Oh, holy shit. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. No, I just, bro, I just heard sound. Okay, change of plan. Just use the night vision from here, okay? Okay, get down. Turn the lights off, lights off, lights off. Alright, so
he's gone? Do you think he's gone? I don't hear anything. So you said that you, you said that you saw him leave something? Cause I, I couldn't see anything because I had my cami. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Dude, what is that? It Dude, doesn't that look like a moon rock like a freaking Mars rock or something? Or lava rock? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's weird, dude. That's so weird. Okay, what is that? So you left something up here, Chris said. What is this? I don't even know what it is. Looks like some sort of rock. Yo, it's like a snake. Made of some kind of stone, eh, bro? But it's like shiny. Yeah, it looks like a rock. Yeah, it's just that's just weird, eh? So it's just an animal. Okay, so we found that. I don't know exactly what that is. We'll back that up. But you left something else. Yeah, what's this? Okay, so you left something here, guys. I don't know what this is. Actually, you wanna hold it like that? I'll have a good look at this thing. What is this? So it's like a picture of like, almost like a, like a witch lady or something. I don't know what it is, man. It's weird. What is it? Oh, dude, it's just a postcard. But what is this thing anyway? So it says, The Gypsy's Warning 3. Lady wants there lived a maiden, pure and bright and like the fair. But he wooed and wooed and won her. Filled her gentle heart with ear. Then he heeded not her weeping. Nor eared her life to save. Soon she perished, now she's sleeping. In the cold and silent grave. That's creepy. So it's like a bad luck postcard. That's kind of weird. But what's on the back of this thing here? I'll try to make this as still as I can. Is there a year on that? It says, it says November. I don't know what that is. I can't really see a year. There's like a really old postcard here. I can't see a year. But it says for inland postage only the space as well as the back now be used for communication. There's some kind of weird um, handwriting or something right here. And then down at the bottom it says I'm in, I'm in a little letter mood today thank you for the card i received for today and then it says g i don't know who that is and then over here it says my w susk i don't even know what that says suscomb greenwood torwood gardens I don't know what that is. Tor I, I, I can't read that, guys. I don't really know what this is. It just looks like a bad luck charm, which is kind of weird, but it's a postcard. But I'm saying we split, bro, because that was really creepy, eh? I don't know what all this stuff is. Like, this starseed group, they like they they like nature. They like living. What'd you hear something? What was that? I think that's from Oh, shit. Sorry about that, bro. I heard something. Anyways, guys, I think we're gonna split because this place is really starting to creep me out. Like literally, this was this was before this is before me and Chris even decided to stake out. We literally just this dude came, but we keep hearing like a howling sound, so we want to get out of here. We also don't want this guy coming back. Okay, so we're gonna walk our way out. <laughs>